I found myself on a plateau of swirling smoke and mist. I could not see my feet, or perhaps I did not have feet in that place. Each step was treacherous. I had to believe there was a ground. If I didn't, there wouldn't be, and I would fall into nothingness. Welcome to the Fate, where demons want to be inside you and feet are optional. The Fate, or as the Dalish call it, the Beyond, is a spiritual realm tied to Thedas. It is separated from the waking world by the Veil, which in itself is a topic for its own video. In short, the Veil is an invisible barrier that neither spirits nor mortals can easily pass through physically. Your mind is brought to the Fate whenever you're asleep, however. Mages, aside from tapping into the Fate when casting spells, remain conscious and are also able to bring others into the Fate, including, but not limited, to dwarves and golems. Dwarves are the only race in Thedas that do not dream, and since most golems are, or more were, dwarves, they presumably don't dream as well, or sleep at all. Kunari claim that they do not dream like humans and elves do, since entering the fate is forbidden according to the Kune. Then there are dreamers, like Fainreal or Solas. Dreamers are mages able to enter the fate at will, without having to rely on Lyrium or blood magic. The fate reflects the world around it, meaning that if you dream in a ruin, you might see it as it has been long ago. Despite this, it is impossible to chart the fate. Because of its ever-shifting state, the fate can become familiar, but never the same. Magic use is also possible, but not exactly as intended. Spells work unpredictably, as magic doesn't follow natural rules. Mages can tap into the power of the fate, but cannot change everything in it, not even dreamers can. Similar to that, even non-mages can shape it in small ways. They can imagine weapons into being that are able to cut even in dreams. It is believed that the souls or spirits of the dead all pass through the fate. The Chantry teaches that the souls of the living pass through there on their way to the Maker's side. Those that turn from him are lost forced to wander the fate forever. The Dalish believe that in the time of Arlathan, their people did not die, but instead entered a dreamlike state called Euthenra. Their souls wandered the fate, accompanied by Falondin, the god of death, and Dirthamen, the god of secrets. They would learn the secrets of dreams. Some even came back to life, as it were, and returned to their people with newfound knowledge. Likely the reason the Kune forbids from entering the Fate is that they believe it to be the land of the dead, and walking a place that is called land of the dead is never a good idea. The Kunari are practical in that sense. Very, 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 very long ago, there was a time when the waking world and the Fate were one and the same, but it all changed when Solus put up the veil. What it was like when the fate and the waking world were the same isn't stated anywhere, but we can imagine it somehow. Just think about spirits wandering freely around and magic being stronger than you can possibly imagine. That's what it must have been before the veil, which is also the reason that the elves of Arathan relied so heavily on it that their cities crumbled when the veil was put up.